Yes, if, if civilization continues, which it probably will, then AI in space is inevitable. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, I always have to like preface that, you know. We shouldn't take civilization for granted. We, we need to make sure to take care to ensure that civilization has an, an upward arc. I mean, any student of history knows that civilization does not always have an upward arc. And in fact, civilizations have life, t life cycles. So hopefully we are in a strong upward arc. I think we are for now, um, but we don't want to take that for granted or be complacent. But the, in order to, the way to think of AI in space is that in order to achieve any meaningful percentage of a Kardashev two scale civilization, where you're using even a millionth, a millionth uh, of the sun's energy, you must have solar powered AI satellites in, in deep space. Um, so, so that once you realize like, once you think in terms of a Kardashev two scale civilization, which is what, what percentage of the sun's energy are you turning into useful work? But then you, then it becomes obvious that space is overwhelmingly what matters.